Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Hannah, and this week I'll be taking you through a week of workouts. Um, and I'm going to show you what so what a week of workouts looks like for me and how I structure my workouts and like split the days up. So yeah, let's get into it. So today is Monday. I've actually already filmed the workout. I do the intro this afternoon. Um, and today is a cardio and core day for me. So basically how I split up my workouts is I do four days on and one day off. And it basically is, I'll do legs, upper body, a cardio day where I do some kind of like form of like exercise, whether it's going for a run or I go for a cycle and then normally do a bit of like core training on that day. Um, and then I'll do a full body day and then I'll rest and then I'll repeat that. Um, but the, so the first upper body day will be like push so it will kind of go I'm going to write this on the screen so it's not too complicated but it'll go legs push day cardio day full body rest legs pull cardio full body rest so it's almost like a 10 day week so this week it's ended up that I am doing my cardio day today. So I did upper body yesterday and I did legs on Saturday. So today I did cardio and I just ran 5K and then I did a 10 minute ab workout. I'll show you that next. Hey, it's Monday and today is cardio day. So don't mind my bed head and my poor aesthetic, but um, it's cardio day today. So I'm gonna do a 5K run and do a bit of core workout afterwards. So nothing long, quite a quick workout. I've got my Gymshark Flex shorts on and the training sports bra. Super comfy to run in. And I think I'm just gonna run on the treadmill today, but we will see. So yeah, 5K done and now time to do a bit of core training. Oh, I'm literally panting. I did my 10 minute follow along ab workout on YouTube. It is Tuesday, which means this week it is a full body day. Um, I've just got back from, a, well I've just got back from work and it's like, I got back from work an hour ago to be fair, it's now quarter to six and I'm really cold, I've just been really cold all day and struggling to get warm, so <laughs> I'm not that motivated, I can't lie, but today's workout is going to be, I'm going to start off with to warm up, I'm going to do, I write it all down in my notes and I'll put it on the screen, I'm going to do 10 minutes of hit. so five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, repeat twice to warm up and then I'm going to go into like a weighted round where I'm going to do squat press, RDLs, lateral lunge and press, weighted plank and inverted rows and that will probably be the end of my session and I'll stretch to the end. I'm going to try and record as much as possible but I don't know how much like memory like I'm going to have on my camera so I feel like I can't, it's going to take me like 30 minutes, I can't really film like the whole 30 minutes so if not I'll just film the exercises and then move forward from there. So yeah, let's get started, let's get warmed up so I can take this jumper off. Oh and if anyone's interested I am wearing the Gymshark flex set, long sleeve top, bra, literally the whole set in the blue colour and then I've got my early desk trainers on. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> now onto weights. I actually look like an egg, oh my god. Dead.
it done. I look a bit like an egg. I'm not too sweaty. I find actually pinning your hair back makes you look less sweaty. If you want a tip, sorry, for when you go back to the gym, if you slick your hair back, then it's hard to tell. But then if you don't see the slicked hair back look, you're not really solving anything. But anyway, yeah, I'm finished. I'm just gonna do like five, 10 minutes of stretching to cool down. I burnt, not that calories really matter to me, but just in case anyone's wondering, in that session, I that was 35 minutes long. So not long, quite a quick session. Um, and about 300 calories. Literally, exactly, 303. So, yeah. Give that a go if you want like a nice full body session. Um, yeah. So it is Wednesday today and it's actually, so it's my rest day today. Um, what am I saying? It's Wednesday today and it's my rest day. I've had uni all day and I've literally just in it. I've literally just finished for the day. It's now nearly 5.30, like 5.20. And I'm just gonna do, I was gonna do yoga today. I went on a walk in my lunch break, just like three kilometers with the dog. So not far, not like loads of steps. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some yoga. And I'm not gonna film the whole thing because I think I'm gonna do about 40 minutes. And I don't know whether I wanna do it this evening. Or I feel like now because I wanna get on with more work, but I feel like I need a break because I've been looking at laptop all day. So it's Thursday and it is leg day today. I'm really excited for this leg day and show you how I split up my leg workouts because I feel like a lot of you are interested in that. Um, it's a bit cold outside, so I have been putting this off, but I'm looking forward to it. So let's get going. So I've actually had to shut the door because it's so windy and that wind is so cold. Um, I've got some BCAAs. BC, yeah, BC, my brain just not working at the moment. BCAA to sip on whilst I work out. I don't normally take these like literally once in a blue moon. I was just a bit thirsty and I was like, oh, so nice to sip on, isn't it? Sweet treat, but yeah, let's get started with the workout. So my workout today is, so the glute activation, we're going to glute activation now, and I'll just do like a little time lapse. Um, so I'm gonna do three sets of 20 kickbacks per leg. And then I do single leg hip thrusts on the bench with the band on, all with the band on. And then donkey kicks into pulses, 15 per side, three times. So three lots of each, each exercise. You'll see, I'll put it on the screen. I use the, um, just for reference, the BND extra, extra? I think this is just extra heavy. Um, they're now shreddy bands, but this is just an old one. Sorry if I'm shouting, got music on. Yeah, let's go. Activation, and I'm going to start off with a tricep. Um, so I'm literally going to do sumo squats, standard squats, and then narrow squats, like straight after each other, eight reps of each, and then repeat that three times. So I always put squats, hip thrusts, and then either like RDLs or deadlifts into my leg workouts because they're like my staple exercises. So that is what I'm going to start with a tricep of squats, which I haven't done for a while, and I think this is going to kill. <laughs> Next up, um, I'm doing a superset of 10 hip thrusts at about like 60 to 80 percent of my max. So I think 80 kg I'm doing. Um, and then I'll go straight into 15 banded productive.
basic, pretty much basic like workout for me. And I'm just gonna finish with a burnout now. I'm gonna do 10 lots of six jump squats. So I do 10 jump squats, 10 seconds rest, 10 jump squats, 10 seconds rest, and do that. Oh, I'm gonna do that 10 times and I can do it six times. Just being realistic here. That's gonna kill me if I do it 10 times. <laughs> Friday, it is Friday. Why would I say that? Um, I look a mess. I have been in the kitchen all day working, doing stuff. Just a really busy day. I've been up since like half six. Half six. <laughs> um, so this afternoon, it's going to be this evening, it's now. Um, so it's now quarter past six, and I'm just going to do a quick workout. So I'm going to warm up on the treadmill. I'm going to do a 15 minute incline walk. I normally walk at like eight to ten percent and then at like a six kilometer per hour walk i don't know what that is in miles per hour sorry if that's how you work by working kilometers per hour um so yeah i'm just gonna warm up on a 15 minute walk and then get into an upper body workout it's push day today so like shoulders and chest focused but yeah it's just gonna be short and sweet today because i am just i'm not like physic i'm just like mentally exhausted so i'm sure once i get into it i'll feel good but so I've just walked on the treadmill for 15 minutes on the incline um, and that gets my heart rate up and I feel good now and awake um, and I'm just going to start off with doing three sets till failure of press ups just to warm up my body. <laughs> afternoon now it is saturday and today i'm gonna do today's a cardio day and excuse my mess i've got greasy hair i look a bit of a bit grim and i faked hand oh yeah say the day before now and i didn't put it on my face so it's a big contrast i look a bit like ghostly but nevertheless today's cardio day i am doing a spin class i think so my sister's got a peloton bike so i'm gonna use that um, just because it's super windy and it's wet and rainy outside and I'm just not really feeling up to running. So I'm going to do a 45 minute spin class and then a bit of core afterwards maybe. So yeah. I'm doing a 45 minute hit and heels ride on the peloton. So my legs look so orange. <laughs> but yeah, so watch me die. See you in 45 minutes. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to focus but I burnt 355 calories. Okay, why does it not want to focus? 350. Also, I'm obsessed with this set from Gymshark. Hey, it is now Sunday and it's actually Mother's Day today. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick workout. I was kind of been putting it off, so it's now like two in the afternoon. But yeah, I'm just going to do a quick workout, full body. And basically what I'm going to do is a bit like an unwrap style workout. Um, I'm going to set a timer for 20, 25 minutes, I think 25 minutes, and just repeat the same circuit over and over again as many times as I can in that 25 minutes. So I'm going to run 500 meters and then do 10 Arnold, Arnold presses and then 20 squat kick into kickbacks and then 20 spider crunches and repeat that as many times as I can in 25 minutes. So I'll be sorry it will be quite a sweaty session but like quick and effective 
and we'll target all my muscle groups and just a fun way to finish off the week really something a bit different I don't always do workouts like this but like I said on my full body day sometimes it's like a hit style workout or like more cardio focused or just weights session so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope it's not too long I think it might be but this is what a normal week kind of looks like for me working out wise so I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe you can take some of like the workout structures from this but everyone's different different things suit different people so maybe give this a go and it might work for you but it might not and that's okay you might want less cardio you might want more it's entirely up to you but this is just what I do um so yeah let's get on with the workout <laughs> the video up here. Recap my hands see then. Um, I thought I'd finish the video up here because my sister's on the peloton downstairs, so it was quite loud. Well not downstairs in the garage. So yeah that is basically a full week of workouts. It's now Sunday afternoon um so I'll be resting tomorrow because it's just in full body. Um and yeah it was quite a good week of workouts for me. A bit like I like to mix it up as you can see, like it's not always exactly the same, but stuff like the leg and upper body days, I use the same kind of exercises. Um which can be a bit repetitive at times, but just to make sure I'm like using progressive overload. Make sure that I'm applying progressive overload. That's why I always do my standard moves, like the squats, hip thrusts, um, sumo deadlifts, like deadlifts or RDLs or something like that. But yeah, I always have two compound moods in each exercise so I can overload those progressively. Um, and yeah, and then I like to mix it up with a bit of cardio. So like I said before, this don't copy this routine to a T because it might not be for you, but it really works for me. This is what I find works for me. And sometimes I take more rest. Sometimes, well, I never take less rest than this. I always have at least one day a week, that's so important. Sometimes, most of the time I'd say it is two, like it's one to two. Um, just depending about how it falls. And then if I do need extra rest, what I normally do is I'll cut off either the cardio day or the full body day, if that makes sense. So I'll do legs, upper body, and then like cardio, and then I won't do the full body day. So like today when I wasn't really filling up for my workout, I probably would have just skip the full body and then rested today and tomorrow done legs if that makes sense so it's then a like eight day a week instead of ten but yeah i do talk about it quite a lot on my instagram but i feel like this video will give you a greater insight into what a week looks like for me and yeah and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i don't mind doing more if you do like this let me know because i will happily do more videos like this like maybe taking you through a, like a full workout in detail um like just one-off workout so i just couldn't film every workout like the whole thing this week or is one this video would have been like an hour and a half longer than an hour and a half because most of my workouts are like 30 to 45 minutes so yeah it would have been quite hard but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this um I don't think this is going to be up tonight because I've got to edit it all and I haven't started yet so this will be up on Monday so I hope you have a good start to the week. <laughs>